guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with another absolutely mad car on the channel. A car which has been on the channel before. I'd be very surprised though if any of you actually recognise it just because of how much different it looks since the last time I was on the channel. I filmed this car probably two or three years ago now. Uh, as you can see, fairly obviously, it's a time attack car, full race car, but it's not only absolutely mad, fully caged, it's also running some good power as well. Obviously all the supporting mods which you can imagine, a lot of cooling mods, it's also got some secret sort in terms of the turbo. This car runs a B48 engine, which is shared between this and the F40 generation M135i. However, this has a B58 turbo, which is pretty wild. And we'll get Andy to basically run through how he's made that work, but it's running just over 400 brake. It's absolutely wild. And I'm pretty excited to experience this car again because it was wild before and it's now, well, taking it in it. another step up. Welcoming Andy back to the channel. Mate, it's good to have you back. Thanks for having with me. With this wild thing. I mean, it was wild before. And yeah, it's, it was uh, it's a little bit wilder now. Yeah, it's been three years since we did the video. So yeah. About, about you an update. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and yes, we have got a nice wooden stick to hold the bonnet up. As you, as do. you do. And a wooden splitter, which I wonder if people are going to hate that as much as people hate mine. But um, I mean, yeah, this thing, absolutely wild, running just over 400 brake now. Yeah, so it makes, um, it makes 405. Uh, horsepower mm -hmm. uh, at the flywheel nice. and then uh, 515 newton meters okay. again at the yeah. flywheel. Uh, so we've got a three inch straight through intake uh, courtesy of Ram Air leading down forge crossover into a B58 turbo. Yes. As you explained earlier. Which is fruity. Yeah, uh, not the easiest conversion to do, I might say. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of different people have tried it. They haven't made it work. But <laughs> I spent enough time faffing around <laughs> to do it. Yeah. Um, and you have to ad adapt all of the standard feed lines for the core and everything, okay. custom yeah. up pipe. So it's not just a case of swapping it out. No, you can't, you can't just cut the end off it and bolt yeah. it on. Yeah. There's yeah, yeah. hours and hours of welding and fabrication that leads Fair into play. it. And it's just a standard B58 turbo? Yeah, just a standard one. Yeah. It makes all the boost you could ever want. As you can imagine. Well, they make yeah. 500 brake on a three litre. So exactly. They're going to do a lot exactly on that. a two litre. Absolutely. Is it forged? Uh, yeah, so it's a fully forged yeah. Damaco built motor. All of the combustion chamber smoothed out, uh, so it's all nice and free flowing. Yeah. Uh, ported and polished head. Uh, we've got drop comp custom pistons made by uh, CP. Doesn't need a baffle sump, but we have got a dipstick. You won't see many of them on F56s. Yeah. Cooling wise, uh, we've got an R1 Rad uh, that CSF sorted me out with. Uh, they usually you find them in the back of Sylvia's in drift cars. Okay. But. These just run so hot, we needed to do something about yeah. it. And then we've got uh, actually CSF's smallest intercooler core, mm -hmm. uh, custom end tanks into silicon pipe work and hard pipes yeah. and stuff like that. Cooling, um, obviously, very important for a, a race yeah. car. Well, yeah, I'm trying to build it into like an endurance car. Okay. Rather than time yeah. attack now. Okay, um, fair enough. It's more, more where I want to go with it. Yeah, I mean, you've um, done time attack for a good few years now. Yeah, two championships. Yeah. Two championship trophies. Fair luckily, play. So. My guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's been a good laugh. Yeah, absolutely. Um, fire suppression kit as well. I yeah. that. Not doing much at the moment with the wood there, but yeah, you know. no. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't have to do it. Yes, no, ever, that's absolutely which right. Which is the, the, the goal. But yeah, other than that, uh, we've got a full, full mini challenge body kit, mm -hmm. um, custom splitter that's chassis mounted. Yeah. Um, if you want to take a little peek down there, ignore yeah, the wiring. Yeah, actually, we can have a look in there. But yeah, mm. bolt it to the chassis. Yeah, very cool. Where are we going next? Uh, we've got a dual AG bonnet. That's pretty okay. cool. Yeah. Um, they're quite rare to see in Europe, let alone in the UK. Louvered and everything as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Big vents. Very nice. Obviously, Tarox is the main sponsor of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Still, big old brakes. Yeah, I think th these might be the same brakes that you had on it before. Possibly. I seem to I remember know. you being partnered with Tarox when we did the first video. Yeah, so um, when we did the first video, I think they were the red, old red 10 pots, but these yeah. are their newer eight piston caliper. Cool. Um, same 350 mil two piece disc. Mm -hmm. There was some very dirty rotiforms <laughs> over them. Um, I've got to say though. Sorry rotiform. I, <laughs> I love the white and gold. No, it looks awesome. Uh, suspension wise on the car as well, I uh, guess, Bilstein's. So yes, <laughs> Club Sports. They yeah. are a bit aged. They've done 20,000 miles. They've not had a nice life. <laughs> That's a good point actually. What's this thing on now? Because when we did the video, it was on like 102 or something? Yeah, something like that. yeah 120 now. Really? Yeah. Because you still daily it, right? Yeah, it's still, it's still driven around Redden. Um, <laughs> daily driven race day. car. Yeah, well. you got to love it. Well, there's DDE and then there's... Yeah, and there's <laughs> then there's you. <laughs> yeah, so. Fair play. Obviously, yourself, Garage 34. Yeah. Uh, more mini challenge bits, I yeah. believe. Yeah, challenge wing. That was the first 
part that I actually bought. Yeah, that looks uh, nice. For the body. That's proper. Yeah. And then Italian flags because Taroks are Italian. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, diffuser as well. Yeah. RSI C6. They're an Italian brand as well. Mm -hmm. um, this was, I think, the second one in the country. But it, yeah, mm -hmm. it does the job. Awesome. And in the rain, exhaust as well. you can see spray kicking up from. Oh, that's it, which cool. Which is pretty sweet. Like a little rooster tail. Yeah. That's cool. Not quite proper ones, but. Yeah. Half, uh, <laughs> yeah. Downturn's got hundred cell cat in it. Yeah. Nice big silencer. Yeah. Big centre box in the middle. Uh huh. Yeah. All the way up to it's got four four point seven five inch downpipe. Oh blimey! Okay. Because the the larger the downpipe you have, it like muffles. So yeah. It doesn't sound like a drain pipe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Fair enough. It's a common F fifty six. Fair one. enough. If Obviously. we want to go inside. Inside, yeah. I mean, being a full race car, cage bucketed, everything you'd expect. Thailand Motorsport cage? Yeah, Thailand yep. Motorsport did the cage. Obviously, my lovely door cards oh, nice. were cut to fit <laughs> the cage. Because in <laughs> in the class I was doing that time attack, you yeah. basically had to run standard dash, oh, standard okay. door cards. Yeah. And you had to have rear quarter cards and a boot card. Really? Yeah, oh, just because it's more like uh, like a clubman spec car. Okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah not yeah. too standard, but obviously safety devices are free. Yeah. So you've got the cage, the seats, yeah. welding rails and stuff like that. Yeah. Cooler works in the middle. Yeah, got Fast it suppression done. kit all plumbed in in the footwell, as you yeah. said. Um, One of the best things you'll buy on the dash as well. Garmin. Garmin catalyst. Yeah. If you if you do track days, buy one of them. Absolutely. Obviously, you can't use it on the road. Yeah. Unless you stay above 25 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, and seats as well. <laughs> Sparkos on there as well. Proper wraparound ones as well. Yeah. I need to get them retrimmed because these are a bit tall as well. Oh, yeah. Well, it's used, isn't it? Yeah. Used as intended. But yeah, I mean, this thing is absolutely wild. And I mean, it was boiling on the day where we did that last yeah, shoot. Yeah, it was so 37 degrees. It, it, was, we it was bad. Profusely. It was bad. But I'm still looking forward to getting back in it and um, seeing what it's like now. Because, well, it's a bit of a monster. So yeah, it's, I think it, it does the job. does the job does quite the job. well. Yeah. So I think, yeah, if that's pretty much everything, we'll uh, hop in, get it fired up and, and go for a spin. Great stuff. Yeah. That's nuts. 
In terms of like underbody bracing and stuff or any other like roll bars, I presume so, that's all been done. Yeah, so we've got uh, no front anti roll bar at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's been removed. Yeah. Um, for a weight and it just allows for a lot more front compliance. Okay. Um, which is why you'll see me tripoding around tracks. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Where the um, front dips and the rear yeah, wheel just pops up. Yeah, rear wheel up. Yeah. Uh, white line rear anti-roll bar, um, solid bar. Yeah. It's 26 mil. Uh -huh. so it's a pretty decent bar on it. Uh, ultra racing, front up and strut race, and then four along the middle. Okay, yeah. Um, so two subframe braces and then two tunnel braces. Yeah. It's all been done, <laughs> basically. <Yeah. laughs> What's next for it, though? I really want to put air jacks in it. Oh yes! Because like you can you can buy um, so Nuke Performance do a set of uh, like low psi jacks. Okay. Um, so they're like maximum operating range is like up to 120 psi, okay, whereas yeah. regular air jacks is like 200, 250. Yeah. Something ridiculous like 14 bar or something. Jesus. No more tractors. Sometimes, yeah. In this, yeah, all good. It, it will just go. to like get this thing back on the channel now that it's it's just changed so much <laughs> yeah it's uh, slightly different isn't it yeah definitely and i'm sure it will keep on evolving as time goes on i will do you never know in oh, no doubt two or three more years time we'll get it back on and it's done 150,000 and it won even more championships <laughs> maybe, well maybe i'll yeah. try my best yeah absolutely so you're going more into more more away from time attack and more into kind of endurance yeah. racing do you reckon in, endurance racing has always been where i like to end up yeah it's just trying to find a pathway there yeah i see because like you know it requires a hell of a lot of money it's just finding people that believe in me enough mm. and you know network of enough people to get yeah. me there fair enough well hopefully hopefully one day we'll, we'll see you there well it'll be, it'll be really cool to see that um, if i end up in the british gt yeah that'll be that'll be sweet. cool that'll be very cool but yeah, mate, no, thank you so much for coming down and for taking me out on it once again. Oh, no problem. It's always, always good fun to go out in this thing. It's an absolute yeah, it's ride. always eventful, whether it's <laughs> tractors or big dips in the road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so true. Uh, but yeah, I mean, by all means, if you guys want to learn more about the build and how it's evolving, then I'll leave Andy's Instagram link down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Stealth Camp.